module number seven, writing is one, writing with mind, body, and soul. Our topic is the importance of my pre-flight techniques. Our learning objective. Our basic learning objective today is to discuss and demonstrate my pre-flight to riding as one, safety and in true partnership. I designed my pre-flight system after I was injured by Smokey. I had been learning natural horsemanship techniques from worldwide trainers and clinicians. Techniques I was told would develop my green broke horse who definitely had trauma develop him into a well-broke horse. Nothing I was learning at that time would have prepared me for what I was about to experience. No one had ever discussed equine behavior or how to read your horse, let alone how to properly diagnose your horse during the work. And because of this, I was misinformed and I got busted up. My pre-flight is about how to diagnose, how to read, plus the correct techniques necessary to test your horse's mental connection, engagement, and ability before you ride and while you are riding. I'm only going to go through the first two of my seven pre-flight techniques because there's just way too much time that needs to be spent with each. So my first pre-flight is tacking. Where's your horse's mind? So any of my schoolmasters right now, my Trinity, which is Legend, Sundance, and Smokey, and then I'm further developing Lovey and Zor, when I bring them out of the stall, my schoolmasters can come out at liberty just like this. I can groom them like this, and I can tack them up. Now I'm still working with Lovey and Zor on that level, and it's all about a mindset. And the mindset is everything you're learning. All of the building blocks up to this point are there for you to create this that you see in Sundance right now. So if I were to go get my bareback pad, and let's say Sundance is at her stall, does she stay there and wait for me? Because remember, isn't everything about true partnership? And don't you want your horse to want to be with you and work with you? So no matter what you present to your horse is a good thing. Everything's a good thing. So I'm going to get ready. And I always put this on first. And she always reacts that way because she has trauma. She still has triggers from her really horrid training before I got her. But nonetheless, she trusts me and she wants to be with me. So she's going to stand here and wait while I cinch her up. And unfortunately, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is neither her, her bareback pad and <laughs> you've gained weight. Oh my gosh, this is Smokey's pad. All right. But you should be able to do all this. What difference does it make? We're still enjoying each other's time. I mean, that to me is everything. What's in it for her, right? And she gets love. I'm her friend. She enjoys my, my time and my company. Oh, I don't think this is gonna... I might get the first one. I'm sorry, babes. And then, of course, I'm going to want to put her headgear on. So I need her to help me. Yep, you got to come over here. Come here. Oh, I need to be able to move my horse wherever I... I need her. And she helps slip her head into a rope halter. 
And if this was her head stall with her stop and turn, her bitless, I would hold the brow band here and just lift the nose piece over and, and she would help. So this is important. I mean, this is really important that your horse isn't just standing here like they're checked out or dead broke. I mean, she's engaged. She's looking at me, she's touching me, she's paying attention, she's relaxed. I mean, she's here in the now and present with me. And that's really important. So the second pre-flight is mounting. So once I have my horse all tacked up, how does she, how do we mount? And does she come and get me? So I'm going to take the mounting block over here. And normally we would be walking to the mounting block. So I don't really care what side of her body she gives me. That's fine, but let's say I want the other side. Come here, I want your other side, not your butt. I don't want your hiney. <laughs> I guess she's really determined on giving me her right side. Thank you. And I would have my reins tied. Sorry, I would have tied my reins. <clears throat> but right now I'm just gonna get on. My horse should be standing quietly, obviously. Um, she practically pushed me off to help me, but that's what I want. I want that from every horse and the horses that come to me in training that aren't even my horses, but are being restarted or started. This is all part of it. I want them to want me on their back and I want her to be just as relaxed when I get on as she was when I was off of her because I haven't talked to her about anything right now. I'm talking to you and I'm fussing usually with my phone and my pants and my sunglasses and whatever else. And then I gather my reins. And when I gather my rein, that is not an indication to go. I gather my reins and then I work on other things before I even walk off. So those are the first two pre-flight techniques or exercises. One is being able to groom and tack up while your horse is ground tied, not at liberty, that would be wonderful, but ground tied, which means the rope is just either on the ground or over their shoulder. So you can still grab it if you need it. And the second would be mounting. How does your horse come to get you when you go to get on? Do you have to pull them up here? No, this work is about helping your horse want to come up and get you. These pre-flight exercises are about developing your awareness more than anything and developing the mindset in you and in your horse to a higher level of consciousness about the work. So I have a fabulous Liberty exercise. It's in my Spirituality of Horsemanship DVD that um, I will be getting into. We will be talking about this in next month's module. And that will be my Liberty work. So you'll be taking everything you've been working on, especially the grounding position, the pulling and the pushing position. We'll be taking that actually into the round pen and working on this, this mounting, those specific, that specific work in the round pen, the Liberty close work or joining work is what's going to solidify all of this. But right now I just want to raise awareness to what it should look like to train your eye because then I'm going to teach you how to achieve this. So again, everything you've been learning are building blocks, but we're still not there yet, especially for the pre-flight. So half of these pre-flights, or at least a couple of them out of seven, the tacking and the mounting, we really can develop that in this Liberty work. So next month, you can look forward to being introduced to that. So right now, there's really nothing for you to try at home. You can experiment with this and just see where you are with your horse. And you've been given enough of the building blocks to show you how to achieve most of this, 
but it'll really get solidified in the liberty work, in the real deep connecting and joining work where you pull all of these building blocks together, especially the chakra work and the energy. All right, legend. So thank you. I look forward to hearing from you in the comments. May you always be one with your horse.